Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. I am your Filipino friend and orchids and plants. So if you love orchids and plants, this channel is for you. And today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make fish amino acid. Okay guys, so let us start now the process of our making of fish amino acid. So in here I have 2 pounds of brown sugar, so a total of 4 pounds of brown sugar. And of course we are going to use this plastic container. And let us get the fish gills, so or hasang in the Philippines. So put it like that and this is a new fish gills that I took from the fish earlier and we are going to get also our fish gills that, that's been in the freezer for, for a month because what I did guys is every time I clean the fish and if I don't have time what I did is I put it first in the Ziploc and then keep in the freezer. So when I have a lot of fish gills, then I do it one time. So in that way, it saved me a lot of time. So look at this one, still uh, frozen. So let us put it here now. And the next is brown sugar. So let me get the scissor to cut the plastic of this brown sugar and the proper measurement or ratio is 1 is to 1. Let's say if you have a kilogram of fish gills then you should need to have 1 kilogram also of brown sugar and if you don't have brown sugar molasses will do. So guys the ratio also of uh, using fish gills and molasses is 1 is to 1 or a kilogram of fish gills and a kilogram of molasses. But if molasses is not available into your place, then brown sugar is alright. Like in this case, I have 4 pounds of fish gills so I need to use 4 pounds of brown sugar as well. So guys, this is an easy process, easy step, and it has a lot of benefits to our orchids, to our plants, vegetables, and chickens. And this fish amino acid is one of the great or excellent liquid fertilizer, an organic liquid fertilizer, and multivitamins for our chickens. And the fermentation process is 7 days up to 14 days and you can extend up to 21 days. But for me, in one week or two weeks, I always harvest it and use it for my plants and vegetables as well for my chickens. And the application of this is one of fish amino acid into one liter of water you can do the, the foliar spray or drenching or pagdidilig sa mga tanim and guys if you love this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon as well and the next is we will cover it now with a thin cloth or if you don't have you can use a uh, paper towel and then rubber band but for me I don't have rubber band at this time so I'm going to use this masking tape and the reason why we are going to use this thin cloth or paper towel is because during the fermentation process it will create more gas that will cause to explode so just like that and then after that guys we need to put label on it 
So in here, I have the label, date of production, September 27, 2020. And then after one week or two weeks, your fish amino acid is ready to use. And the following day, we will check this again. Okay, so after 24 hours, this is our fish amino. And then as you can see, the label is got faded due to the moisture of our frozen gills. Let us open it. Oh, wow. As you can see, there are still ice that build up from the frozen fish gills. And the, the brown sugar is converted now into liquid. And then after that, let me get some uh, stick to mix that properly. Okay, let us mix that one. So, so guys, if you are wondering if you need to add more water on our fermentation process uh, because of our brown sugar, so in this case, no need to add. So we will cover this back again and then we will wait for another 7 days or 14 days and let me show you this one of my fish amino acid and it's ready to harvest and let me get the strainer and the container and let me give you some benefits of our fish amino acid Okay guys, so we are done on collecting of the liquid of our fish amino acid and we are going to put it now in the small glass jar which is 355 ml and for sure we need to get another glass jar to put that all together. Okay, so there, this is another glass jar. So, so guys, this is um, 2 pounds of brown sugar and a 2 pounds of fish gills. So, we collected of a total of 525 ml of fish amino acid. And the application of this is an easy process only. We need to get 2 tablespoons per liter of water. And then after that, just shake the bottle and you can spray it on our orchids and even to our vegetable and plants. But guys, if your orchids is in the outdoor, you can spray on the leaves but just a small amount only and give more time on watering on the roots. And if your orchids is in the indoor, do not spray on the leaves to avoid crown rot, especially on the Pelinopsis orchids. Just spray only on the rooting system of our orchids. And for your plants and vegetables, you can do the drenching or watering the soil. And guys, let me show you my finished product of organic liquid fertilizer it has fpj ffj faa and that's the one that we're doing and labs or lactic acid bacteria and this is my 4-in-1 organic liquid fertilizer but if i want to produce more flowers of my orchids i sprayed my orchids separately with 
FFJ and guys on my coming videos I will show you how to make lactic acid bacteria and fermented plant juice which is the FPJ so that you can make this kind of 4-in-1 fertilizer as well to your gardening or orchids growing.